Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to be discussing and or maybe debating which is better, short stories or novels. Now some of you right off the bat might go, oh well duh, blah 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 blah. And I was thinking about this. And I was having a bit of a, a bit of a problem. Somebody, oh, you know who it was? It was um, Dr. Herbert West, PhD, extraordinaire. Yes, that's who it was. Asked me what my favorite horror novel was. And so I started thinking, and I started thinking, and I started thinking, and then I kept thinking after I started all of these different times. And I would have to say the closest answer to this would be Frankenstein. It's one of my favorite books. It is, um, I would, I would kind of call it proto-horror, if that's even a thing we can say, um, but that is probably my favorite horror novel. But in the conversation we were having, I was talking about how it's hard because I really feel like horror works better in short form because horror is based on like eliciting a visceral response from you. And however you can do that, the better. If you could do that in as, in as few of words as possible, then that's probably even better because you were able to take someone on a ride and make their heart race, make them be worried that they're sitting too close to a window, you, you've been able to do this thing, all right? And whereas a novel, it's not that there are rules with a novel, but you need to have a lot more happening. You need to have, like, tons of character development. You need to have arcs for all your characters. You need to have, like, your three-act structure or whatever other structure you want to use. Um your hero has to go on a journey, you know, of some form or whatever. And that's all fine and good, but you start taking what makes horror horror and putting all this other shit on it just so you could fucking sell it as a book, you know? And it just, it becomes something different. It becomes something that it's not. Or it becomes something that it was never meant to be, Okay. And when I was talking about, like, horror stories that I like, I was talking about H.P. Lovecraft, Thomas Ligotti. I even like Stephen King's short fiction. Um, I like Robert E. Howard's um, horror stories. Those are great. But I also really dig Edgar Allan Poe, obviously, and um, M.R. James. M.R. fucking James, dude. Are you fucking with me right now, dude? Good lord. People are still trying to fucking... Um, ape that fucking dude. Um, I can't remember the chick's name, but one of the scariest short stories I ever read was um, that one, uh, The Yellow Wallpaper, I think is what it's called. Is it The Yellow Wallpaper? It's either The Yellow Wallpaper or The Yellow Room. Um, I can still see it in my head. Um, and I had, I, I told this story before, but um, in my grandparents' house, in the downstairs bathroom, they had wallpaper that if you looked at it for more than a half a second, it, like, it came out. Like, it, um, the depth on the wallpaper was so severe that, like, I, like, I would be a little kid sitting on the toilet, and I had to, like, look down and close my eyes because I thought if I looked at that wallpaper... For more than a couple seconds, I would fall into the wallpaper and no one would ever find me again. Um, so that 
that fucking story, dude. Jesus Christ, that that hit me hard. Um, but like, there's a million great short stories that do the thing that elicit the fear, that elicit the visceral fucking response. And I really think horror is better suited for that. And if it wasn't for um, Stephen King and Dean Koontz and the paper sales explosion of the 1980s, like, I don't know if um, horror novels would even be a thing right now. I think people would still be writing horror shorts. And then this got me thinking of science fiction. And this is an argument I've had about sci-fi for a long time. And a lot of you are going to argue this one. But I think um, science fiction works better in shorts too. Because the heart of science fiction is ideas. And again, we're talking about ideas and how important ideas are. And um, a lot of times, these ideas, when they are put together in short form it's easier for like public consumption it's easier for someone to read like the um like the short stories from irobot or from foundation like before the bind up thing happened it's easier to read these things and get the point out of each thing you know and then when you put it together as a novel it's like oh fuck me you know um i don't know i just think ideas work better in short form and i really think novels especially longer novels are very masturbatory there i said it i said it the guy on booktube thinks books are masturbatory okay But I understand that the way publishing has been, um, making money off of short stories is not a good way to, like, be fucking filthy fucking rich. So, um, hence the novel. Um, That might be a bit cynical. And I think if we, like, went through... The different generations, um, you, you can make arguments both ways. That's just kind of how I see it. I think, um, I think short fiction's better. Damn it. So yeah. So what do you think? Do you think shorts are better than longs? Um, yeah, you guys know what I'm saying. What's better? And do you think there is a genre that works better in short form than it does in long form? And especially if it's one that I didn't bring up right now. Hit me up. Hit me back. Let me know. And keep the conversation going, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.